Ron Seidel looking at a few of the new Honda models. Now, you've got some new ones out this year, right? We do, Brad. What we see in our booth right now are two products that we're extremely excited about. One is the all-new CBR250R. It's something that we've been waiting for for a long time. It's a completely new entry-level model, 250cc double overhead cam. It's fuel injected. Single cylinder. Single cylinder. Okay. And, and that was very purposeful. Reason being, you can still feel the engine. Low and mid-range torque is really just tremendous. Okay. And, and just, it gives you a good interface with the motorcycling experience. So you got tired of the monopoly of another unnamed brand. <laughs> We did. Well, we now did. you had a, you had that old VTR back in the early '90s. We did. Okay. We did absolutely. And this is interesting, Brad. This is a world product, so it's going to go on the world market. But again, uh, we think great new styling. A couple of the key features we're going to offer it with ABS or not with ABS. So you'll have two versions. Okay. That's a first in its class. Um, another really compelling thing: wet weight on it is only 359 pounds. So, so how's that compared to the? We've well, got a pretty good gap on on uh, that. Okay. Uh, that uh, uh, Okay. Who okay. are, are certainly friends of ours as well, but uh, we're extremely excited about this. And I can tell you, our dealers and just the customer reaction to the show has been very strong. Tell me again when this one, if I want to go in and walk in and buy it. Yeah, basically, it's going to be available in spring 2011. Now, tell me about your other, the 1000. Well, uh, this is something pretty dear and dear to my heart. This is a motorcycle we've had in Europe for a couple of years. It's actually built out of our Honda Italy plant called the CB1000R. Basically, it's a CBR 1000 minus the bodywork, but very distinctive style. Uh, everything about this motorcycle is just tremendously fun to ride. Again, 1,000cc engine, some of the Honda signatures have the single-sided swing arm, very compact. That's what I was going to say. I noticed a few it things. It does, uh, and fully adjustable suspension, so if you're looking for that sport bike that's in that naked genre, Got a real winner here. Make it only show a component, so yes, I'm correct. assuming. Correct. Okay. And, uh, How does it compare engine wise to the current leader bike? Well, again, again Same it, it, cases it, it is. I mean, it's reached a bit, again, specifically for low and mid range right. torque and also gearing. So, acceleration factor on this motorcycle is, is tremendous. Yes. And it's all about real world riding, riding position. It's got a great new style. You didn't build it to go out and race. You built no. it to be on the street. The street. And exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. For that enthusiast that's looking for something that is very performance oriented, has great suspension, and this look. And again, this is something that, that consumers have told us at the show that they really it's, like the look. I, of yeah, it's a beautiful bike. I'm, I'm glad to see it back. So many times we miss out on the U.S. Well, you know, it, 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 it's one of those things, obviously, Honda Motor Company worldwide sells a tremendous amount of different products. And it, it's something we were looking at and, and working towards getting here. And finally, for 2011, we'll have it over. Well, we've heard enough talk about it. Thanks for talking. Thanks, for Brad. It's going to wander around. Appreciate it. Thanks. While we're at the Harley booth, we got to see this girl teach everybody how to pick up a bike the proper way. She had been worn out over the course of the show, or even just that a single day. She must have picked the thing up 25 times. But she was using one of the, the new models. It's a Harley's new Sportster Super Low. And Harley's booth actually looked a little different this year. Um, less dresser and more race. They had a uh, XR. Had, they had an XR twelve hundred, and then they had the XR twelve hundred Cup bike, the race bike. And you look around the corner, and they've got a, a XR seven fifty sitting there, straight off the track, dirt still on the tires. Brad from Two Wheel Oklahoma again. I've got Dave here at the Harley booth, and Dave's going to tell us a little bit about a couple of the new models they brought out. What all have they got at the booth? Well, we've got uh, about 26 motorcycles that we brought with us, along with the new display this year. Um, three of the brand new models, the XR 1200X, the Super Low, and the Road Glide Ultra. Um, we also the Road Glide Ultra, that's, you've had that before. We've, had it, we've had it before. Um, we brought it back out for this year. Okay. Um, definitely one of the bigger products that uh, a lot of our customers really like. And you so let it disappear. I didn't let it disappear. Okay. I brought it back. <laughs> so I'm okay. the good guy. So he's the hero. All right. Yeah. Uh, we also brought three of our... Uh, 
a little bit of racing to the show this year. We bought uh, some of the, one of the Vance and Hines uh, B rods. We brought an XR 750 uh, and XR 1200 Vance and Hines kit race bike, which is a new series right now in the AMA. Yeah, you're, you're running the, they're like a cup race. They're running. Yeah, it's a, they've got a, a US tour and they've also got a series over in uh, Europe right now. Okay. So, yeah. That, oh, we love seeing those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put them all on equal bikes. Really, really good race. racing. Yeah. And then, of course, you know, this is a real XR750. Real XR750, right? Right. 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 right out of the shop. Yep. Okay. So that's a really cool bike. Well, we're going to take a look around, and I'm going to let him show me a few of the new bikes he's got out. All right, David. Thanks. If you've never been to one of these, besides all the bike manufacturers bringing out their new models and introducing new paint schemes and new models and, and continuing models, there's gear, as far as I can see. Uh, there's manufacturers bringing out new gear, introducing new gear, and they're selling out there. So you can come in and try stuff on and, and buy it there at the show. Hey Rex, I wasn't sure if I'm up for this. Good chaps, or I may be going for broke, getting real good chaps, because I don't see an excellent. That's <laughs> true. So we may go back, just stick with the real good chaps. This year they had a uh, custom builders area and uh, some pretty wild machinery on display. Very popular section of the show, I noticed. And uh, the really cool thing is you can vote on your favorite one. And... Uh, so that's worth looking at. And also look for the vintage display because that's uh, the cool thing about that is they bring in local guys uh, that have, you know, really cool old bikes. And uh, it's usually a very impressive display of some vintage motorcycles. I'm a boy from the 50s, to Dallas show, the parking is right up by the door if you ride a motorcycle. It's free, so there's no walking blocks to get in. Um, this show has demo rides by usually three, four, five different manufacturers. Not all of the shows do, but they'll bring in 40 or 50 bikes, uh, put them in back, and take you around, let you try out all the bikes that the, that they've brought. Now, if you're gonna if you're gonna show up and want to demo one of the bikes. Uh, you need to go back, check in early. They fill up for the weekend, but you can you can put your spot in. Uh, they'll tell you about what time. You can come back later that day or the next day, so you can get the bike that you want and be able to ride it. They normally have a stunt show. This year, our old friend Jason Britton was there um, with his whole show. And you, you've really got to see that in these tight quarters. Uh, they're putting it on in these tight quarters. You can get right up close to the guys. What's up, Oklahoma? My teammate's stomping ground right here, Eric Honschild, right out of Oklahoma City. <laughs> Now with 50% more. Had a great time this year. Uh, we packed up on Sunday, um, headed home up kind of the same way we came down, uh, up old Highway 75. Stopped, had to stop at all the small towns, try everything out. Got a lot of pictures. <laughs> Yeah. 
entrails. Entrails. The muscle has entrails. I like to eat muscle entrails. Don't miss Colgate if you're coming down from Oklahoma. Stop in, spend some time in the town. Um, God, you can spend, I, I mean, almost an hour browsing around the town. There's two or three stores still open. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs>